Can this be it? Is this my Seastar S50? And indeed it is. It's here, finally, from High Point Scientific. It's been on back order. And this is the ZWO Seastar S50 Smart Telescope. And this is going to be an unboxing video. Um, see what comes with it. And uh, it's supposed to be a clear night tonight. I'm going to go ahead and charge it up. And if I can figure out the app, I'm going to go ahead and try some imaging. All right, so let's go ahead and open the box. And there it is. The Seastar S50. Let's go ahead and unbox it. So this is for deep sky photography, solar photography, lunar photography, and you can use it for scenery photography because essentially this is a 250 millimeter lens. All right, it has its own carrying case. Feels like durable plastic. I have a very nice Astro rig, but I wanted something portable. And this certainly fits the bill. So this is very lightweight. And in this little packet here, looks like we got a USB cable. With a type C connector, yep, to charge it up. It comes with a carbon fiber little tripod. All right. And I wasn't sure if it was gonna come with this, but we have a solar filter for shooting the sun. And we've got a quick guide and the manual here i'll probably take a look at the quick guide in a few minutes and some silica gel do not eat throw away so the sea star itself we will move the case Okay, here's the unit. The lens is under here and nothing feels like it's going to move on its own. So I better read the directions. Uh, take a look at this tab before I go any further. So in the back we have a power button. I'm just going ahead and see if it has a charge yet. Okay, so apparently there's no charge at all. So the next thing I need to do is go ahead and plug this in. And we'll charge it up, read the directions, and we'll be back. Okay, I have downloaded the app. I've got the CSAR S50 all charged up. And let's go ahead and allow me to use the location. Allow. CSAR, I like to find. Connect your device. Allow. Let me make sure Bluetooth is on. Bluetooth is on. Inspire 2. Alright, let's try to power it on. Looks like it's powered on. Explore the universe with Seastar. Connect. Tap to start stargazing. Now. Powering on. Ready to connect. Ready to connect. Okay. 
The arm's not moving. Enter app. Connect. Press the reset button to confirm the connection. Connection confirmed. Activating C star. Got it. Activated. Wants to join Wi Fi network. Join. Connecting to the Wi Fi of your C star. Start exploring. Update firmware now to experience the latest features. Looks like I don't have a choice. All right, so looks like it's updating pretty fast. We're at 55%. All right, we will let it install the firmware. We're starting. All right, the firmware has been updated. Restarting. Please check the power light and manually connect after completing the firmware update. All right, power light. Rapid flashing firmware is updating. Solid yellow firmware is updated. Okay. Okay. Powering on. Ready to connect. All right, looks like we got to connect again. Connect the C Star S50. Wants to join. Congrats. Start exploring in one second. Open arm. Okay, so the arm must be open from the app. Do not try to open the arm manually. So we will open arm. And we'll remove this lens protecting paper. And apparently um, it's all set to go. So it's that simple. Um, I don't know anything about what to do next. So I'm just going to play around with it. It's very cold right now. So I'm going to go dress warm, take it outside, and uh, I'll show you my results. So the very first night was nice and clear. So I went out and my very first subject was the Orion Nebula, M42. And I wasn't sure if I was doing everything correctly. This is a 14 minute stacked exposure. And um, I wasn't sure because it would say discarding image. And I wasn't sure if it was discarding the whole stacked image or what. But uh, it was ju just discarding the current image because of star trails. So I was very happy for my very first subject. And the next night was clear as well. And it happened to be a full moon and it happened to be a wolf moon. So uh, yeah, when you think about it, this is the 250 millimeter lens. So this is a very cropped image that it's taking, but I was more than happy with how it turned out. And then next, a few days later, I went outside during the daytime and just to capture a quick image of the sun. So this is what that looked like. I can probably improve on that in the future. And then the last image I did the other night was the horsehead nebula. And um, I need to work on the processing a little bit more. There's a lot of noise in this image, but this is 58 minutes of data, a stacked image. Um, very happy with it, but I need to get rid of some noise. So yeah, um, with the C-Star 
S50, I couldn't be happier with my purchase. So this is something you may want to consider if you're new to astrophotography and just want to get your feet on the ground and get started. Thanks for watching.